Hi, it's Joe from Let's Talk Porsche. Today we're going to be explaining all there is to know about charging your electric Porsche. Right, so in this example we have a Taycan Sport Turismo in the lovely frozen berry. We've got the electric charge port covers on here, so quick swipe opens the flap. You've got a charger on both sides. Now the driver's side can only accept AC charge, so that's your charging at home through a Type 2 plug. So now on the passenger side, we find the same plug for charging on a type two socket, mainly used at home or underneath. There's an additional two connectors. That is for your direct current charging and that's called a CCS type two plug. Right, so here at Porsche Centre South Lakes, we have two Porsche turbo chargers. So these will offer the maximum charge for a Taycan. So the maximum this car can take is 270 kilowatts. You simply remove the plug from the charger and on the passenger side with the flap folded down, put the CCS Type 2 plug into the uh, socket. So you can see now on the charger, it's asking you to authenticate the charge. So to do this, you can simply hold your Porsche charge card against the contactless patch here, or you can actually do it through the My Porsche app. If you don't have your card to hand, you can do it through the app. I'll show you how to do that now. So we can see here that I've got my Taycan loaded on my My Porsche. If I actually go to the map function and then look for chargers, it's finding here there's two 350 kilowatt chargers. If I select them and then touch for more information, I can go into the choose plug type. It's showing both these are available. This is zero one charge, which matches zero one. I can go into that and do confirm start of session. So as you can see, the charging has started, so charging in progress. This gives you the total time and total amount of kilowatt hours that have been charged to the vehicle. Uh, charging power at the minute, 252 kilowatts is extremely fast. That will actually go up to the maximum once the battery gets up to temperature. At any point, you can stop the charging here, or you can actually ask for more information as well. You can stop the charging through the app as well, or by unplugging the cable. So to unplug the charger, you need to make sure the vehicle is unlocked. You then simply push the charge cable button on the left and that releases the charger. You'll notice on the right hand side there is a key and around this button there is a light. So depending on the colour of the light, it will indicate what the vehicle is doing. Right, this is more of the conventional charger you would find at home. So this is what we call a type two connection. So it's a simpler plug, it's a lighter cable. It doesn't offer as fast a charge. This can be plugged in on both the driver and passenger side and the type two plug plugs in like so. Depending on how the charger is connected, you'll get anywhere from about one and a half kilowatts up to 22 kilowatts maximum charge per hour if you're on three phase electric. So Porsche have teamed up with some exquisite hotels and restaurants and they call them Porsche charging destinations. So these particular places will have a charger installed. Like I said, it will be a slower charge, but if you're dwelling at these places for a little bit longer, it will offer a substantial charge over the time period. So when you're out and about and you're going to one of these super fast chargers, it's worthwhile letting the car know by telling the car that you're going to a super fast charger. It will actually condition the battery, getting it up to temperature so it will charge quicker. So you, to do this, you go to the navigation and do find destination, but now you actually filter by charges. So by ticking that box, the car knows now that you're looking for a charger. And when you set the sat nav going, it will actually condition the battery upon arrival at that charger or within 10-15 minutes before you get there. Here we've actually, it's automatically loaded the closest chargers to us. So if we select this one, the route is being calculated. that's all we need to do. When searching under the charger tab as well, here it's loading one of our chargers. So it's saying there's two available, but one is currently occupied. So there's only one free charger. You can actually search for the power. So at the minute we're looking for 250 kilowatt or higher charges. We could alter that to 50 kilowatt. 
So that's a really nice feature if you're out and about and you're trying to find the closest charger. Right, so there's a little bit of information on charging your electric Porsche. If you do have any specific questions, please drop us a comment and we'll uh, try and get back to you. As per usual, if you find this of interest, please like and subscribe to our channel for all things Porsche.